Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adrian Vaughn, and as we head to the tropics, we're still tracking Darby, and this system looking a little bit more ragged than where it was 24 hours ago. You can see on our satellite loop, uh, just within the last couple of hours, you'll notice that you can see a pretty defined eye at the beginning of the loop, and then as it continues its westward track, it continues to weaken, and that looks like it's going to be the name of the game as we move forward in time, as we wrap up the week and head into the weekend, anticipating this to be downgraded quite significantly to a tropical storm and eventually probably just going to be an open wave by the time we get in towards Sunday and Monday of next week. But right now we still have max sustained winds at 100 miles per hour in the system moving to the west at 16 miles per hour. It is bringing in some large swells ac across the southern beaches of Hawaii. And on top of that, they're actually picking up some beneficial moisture. Drought conditions continue to expand across the Hawaiian islands, so picking up some much needed rain uh, as the system just slides off to their south. Meanwhile, we are watching another disturbance in the Pacific Basin. Things have been pretty busy in the Pacific as of late. We continue with that trend with this area. It's a broad low pressure system. The National Hurricane Center giving it 80% odds of development in the next two days, even higher odds as you head out towards the next five days. The next name on the list in the Pacific Basin is Estelle, so we'll be watching that very closely. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic Basin, things continue to stay very quiet. So some good news there for us here locally. We're not anticipating any uh, tropical activity in the Atlantic Basin as we get through the next five days. And part of that is because we're still dealing with a fair amount of Saharan dust and we've got a pretty big plume moving into the Gulf of Mexico as we speak. Here we are as we get towards uh, Thursday evening and in through the next couple of days, you'll notice that dust plume continuing to just overtake the area. So I think we probably start to see additional problems with the dust plume here across southeast Texas and extending into south Texas as we get in through your Friday and into the weekend. We'll notice those milkier skies and if you're susceptible to dust in the atmosphere, your throat will be a little bit itchy and your eyes could be a little bit itchy here as well. We do have another plume of dust moving in through the Caribbean as we get into early to middle part of next week as well, and that too could prove problematic here across parts of our area. So again, the Saharan dust. It's good for us because it does help suppress the tropical formation and not looking at any uh, way of tropical formation through the next couple of days in uh, the Atlantic Basin because of all the dust moving through. But it's certainly is something that we need to monitor closely because it can be a little bit tough for you with those itchy eyes and throats, especially for sensitive people here across the area. So something, of course, we'll be watching. You'd always tune in on Fox 26 weather uh, on the app and you can always follow along on social media as well.